डिसेंबर में भारत गगनजान अभियान महाकाश को मनीष पठाइबार अभियान को आग को ने भारत आज एक सांधिक सम्मेलन बर्तमान चली इसरो पक्ष घोषणा होती यह सांधिक सम्मेलन में इसरो मुख्य वि नारायण केन्द्रमंत्री जितेन्द्र सिंह और निकट में महाकाश को जरा कर ग्रुप क्याप्टेन शुभांशु शुक्ला और ग्रुप क्याप्टेन प्रशांत वि नारायण सीधा सीधास को देख के मेहनत करिए और इन फील्ड्स को परस्यू करिए और बस बहुत जल्दी जब जैसे बोला मिनिस्टर ने 2040 में हम अनाउंस करेंगे मून से जब पहला भारतीय पहुंचेगा तो मुझे लगता है कि ये बहुत बड़ी एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है इसको सीज करिए ये है हमारा मौका अभी है थैंक यू नाइन थैंक यू आम अनिल हांडा अतुल भारत न्यूज लोकतंत्र की शान द मिशन मस्ट है so if you would like to share some information on that the value and the company not able to hear you probably can the mission must have been insured in value so can you share the value and the company which must have insured the mission and second one is uh, the lot of data must have been generated so who holds the rights and how it has been shared uh, uh i i agree with you the mission must have been insured but that is where i am at it must have been i don't know uh, so <laughs> probably the team at isro would be aware that uh, of what the value is and how the insurance was done but i am i'm sure that there was uh, some insurance involved but i'm not aware of the figure per se and as for the data we have the data that we, we conducted the experiments and everything and we also have the data for the audio video and everything that i uh, recorded so we will have uh, all the data back with us thank you uh, now right flank 279 279 uh hi sir uh, i am vrinda from hindustan times uh i'm sure you know as a test pilot you might have a more critical eye towards things so while we've talked a lot about like the rainbow and sunshine part of the mission were there any challenges also that you identified especially in the context of gaganyaan that could help the mission as well so any drawbacks any challenges that especially indian space missions isro faces and the second question is uh, we talk a lot about uh, private players entering but uh, does the ministry not think that we must regul uh, we must bring in a regulation before uh, letting them enter both the questions are to me the second one is to the minister okay so uh, the the primary job for this mission was uh, to do exactly what you said uh, by being a part of this mission you look at w- uh, what is to be done and also what is not to be done both the aspects of the site so you see some good things you see some bad things and obviously having experience of training at uh, the the russian institute at gctc having seen how they do things and obviously coming back and learning of how isro is doing things gives you a very good perspective to analyze and understand of what is important and what is not important and how we can make things better for our own program this is all the learning and this is exactly what uh, we did there and we brought all this back back with us and we will be putting it back in our program gaganya i think we already have a, an arrangement in place and it's a very incentivizing a very welcome arrangement as a matter of fact i think we have also qualified in creating a structured arrangement for public private participation for example we have an interface called in space which is mandated to decide the nature of collaboration the scale of collaboration the identity of the various entities entering into collaboration also the theme of the collaboration depending upon the stakes depending upon the relevance of the given times so which is uh, and and it it has a very beautiful uh, combination of both the industry inputs as well as the scientific inputs uh, the head of the in space is a person who's been in the industry for a very long time and of course he is assisted by the scientific brains as well then we have this has all happened in the last 4 5 years after we came out with a new set of space laws then we have a psu called ne- new space india limited nsiel so the object of uh, the objective of having this is that mm-hmm.